and I wanted to share with you my top five tips on how to make money using Poshmark. So the thing I like most about Poshmark is that it doesn't feel like work. Um, it has a great social media aspect and um, from my experience, you're pretty much getting paid to use social media and to be involved in an active fashion community. So that's a win-win for me. It's probably something I would be doing in my spare time anyways. So that leads me to my first tip, which would be to enjoy the process. If you love fashion and if you've dabbled maybe in some eBay selling in the past, then it's probably right up your alley. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take maybe a year or two, depending on how much time you have in the beginning to devote to the app to really get it going. So once you kind of have a rhythm, you can start to try to obtain the Poshmark ambassador status. So with that, you have to do certain requirements like 5,000 community shares. So that's a lot of shares you have to share from other people's closets, items that you see that you like. So basically, when I was trying to achieve Poshmark ambassador status, I was seven months pregnant. So I didn't mind sitting there and sharing a bunch of people's cute items from their closet. And it was a perfect way to distract my mind. So once you hit that ambassador status, your closet is going to grow leaps and bounds. They put you into this algorithm and it basically helps with a lot of your followers. So it's definitely a necessity to take your closet to the next level. So the second um, tip that I have is to start by just selling your own stuff. Things that are in your closet that you haven't worn in a while. Reselling can be a learning curve. So in the beginning, at least you didn't invest in that particular item. It was just something out of your closet that you weren't even really using anyways. So I remember my very first sell on Poshmark was a pair of Louboutins. They were like five inches and I hadn't worn them in two years. So I posted them on Poshmark and I was also doing eBay at the time. So I was going to list them on eBay as well to see which platform would give me a better return. And after posting on Poshmark, I literally received, I think it was like a full price offer or a sale, an instant sale. Um, so I didn't have time to list on eBay and they sold right away for I think it was $2.50 and the girl who bought them for me gave me a perfect five-star rating and I was like so excited that I found a platform devoted strictly to women's fashion that was reliable that worked right off the bat. So my third tip would be to get your shipping materials um, for free on the United States Postal Service website USPS.com. When I have the time, I'll go on their website and handpick the ones that I use the most frequently. Um, my favorite shipping bag is mentioned in my last video. So that one's waterproof and it fits almost anything um, except for maybe like a shoebox or a large coat. So definitely go to USPS.com and get your hands on as many free shipping boxes as you can. My fourth tip is make sure you take your photos on a clean white or neutral colored surface. You don't need anything fancy or expensive to start posting. You don't even need a lot of space, but you just need like a small area in your room or home office where it's clean and you can flat lay on a white surface. Or if you get a mannequin, I got mine on Amazon for $30. It's a super cute Parisian mannequin and it just is great for items with more volume like a flowy dress or skirt. So I love using that mannequin for those types of items. So just make sure your cover photo looks nice and clean and you don't have like clutter behind your items. So my last tip would be to share your items. You've taken all that time to, you know, list your items and have nice photos. So you have to let the community know now that these are for sale. Also, when you share your items, they all get um, put at the top of every category. And so if you're selling, for example, a Victoria's Secret pink hoodie, it's going to get put at the very top of that brand. So when somebody searches for a Victoria's Secret hoodie or even just the brand, they're going to see your item first. And I notice the more that I share, the more sales that I make. So it definitely goes hand in hand. And then also another thing about your closet is to kind of have like a theme. For example, like if you're going to organize your items by color or by price or by category, 
Um, it's just good to give the buyers a little bit of organization. So I like to um, organize my closet by color mostly. I've played around with the pricing highest to lowest, um, but I find for some reason that when I do everything by color, my closet does much better. So those are my top five tips to get started on Poshmark and to get those sales going. So basically the more you put into it, like anything, the more you'll get out of it. So if you treat Poshmark like a full-time job, most likely you're going to get full-time results. So more importantly than anything, make sure you're having fun while you're poshing and listing your items. So thanks for watching and make sure to check out my closet on Posh at Urban Dress Up.